do the recap. Oh, no, finish your story. <laughs> I've started it now. No. Oh, okay. Now I feel really, really bad. <laughs> uh, after slaying the bridge guardian, um, we see flying winged creatures that are uh, heading towards uh, the bridge to investigate the death of the bridge guardian. So we um, barely managed to stealth the way from um, these flying eyeball things and their are some black iron-plated demons that are also f flying about looking at following the eyes looking for us um we trek five or six miles closer to the dam uh finding a uh quiet place to a tiny hut um we rest up redo our aura um death wards on Mina. When you approach the dam, uh, and Eli casts invisibility, which gets everybody invisible except for Madar, but she's got a cloak. So, um, yeah, we sneak in and find a whole load of guards that are like, one is doing like toll things with like spirits in the river, and like there are a bunch of guards up and down like the little river entrance that we came in as well as a giant cage full of Janassi, um, flying Makood, and invisible Makood. There was ambushes abound, and pushing people into the river, and them taking damage from everything. Um, we managed to kill everybody, and there's a bookcase on one end of the room where we find, uh, Deck of many things. No big deal. I mean, I drew a card. No big deal. I actually forgot about that. It it happened. It was a thing. Yeah. Yep. I'm glad you did draw one, though. Yeah, because now we all need to draw one. It's only fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a vision that it would be a very bad idea to continue to draw cards in hell. Make Perhaps a deception we check. Until we get back to uh, the surf, the back back home. Was that a real call first? Uh, in the perception check. Are you really saying that? She finished the last session. Yeah. So no, I know. You shouldn't draw any and puts it away. Yeah. 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 I just think she's just hogging all the good stuff for herself. So, you are in this... Oh, you uh, know, like that armor that was super evil and not good for me? You are in this uh, enormous room. Uh, the river still flowing through. Uh, though now, uh, it seems that no toll is being extracted anymore. Uh, as you... so they should love us, is what you're saying. You've got a whole lot of fiends on your side. And they're super <laughs> loyal and won't ever that sounds positive <clears throat> don't ruin it um it's a trap it's a trap so we're talking about traps there's a big old cage full of genasi true which we haven't dealt with also true uh i'm gonna open it Makut does his best to open it by grabbing onto whatever constitutes a door and ripping it off its hinges Make me Eli um, just shrugs his shoulders looking down at his thieves tools going, well, I guess I'll die then. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Athletics check. Okay. I don't get to bust many doors. This was one I was going to bust. <clears throat> Minotaur lockpick. <laughs> now to the head. Athletics modifier. That would be a 28. Uh, yeah, you are able to rip the metal door off of its hinges, no problem. Um, inside the various uh, elemental humanoids all kind of look up at you. Um, you can see they're all wearing like very little, uh, like the merest amount to cover their modesty, mostly just rags. Um, and they all look kind of tired and a little bedraggled. 
Um, and they all kind of look up at you like you've, you've just sort of woken uh, someone up with a very bright light and they're kind of like you're screwing up their eyes and stuff as though they can't quite see you. And then they just continue sitting where they are. Uh, Maku would probably like stands there like all triumphant for a moment and then like they don't do anything or go anywhere and then there's just like a clang as he just drops the gate. Uh. <clears throat> you are free now. Number Shmina will say. You see uh, one of them uh, appears to be a, an earth uh, sort of elemental creature um, he uh, has like this sort of greenish brown skin and uh, his hair is like uh, kind of this clayish rock colour but it has like these grey uh, highlights in it as though it was uh, you know like uh, ore, uh, an ore vein like you know, through his hair um, and he says uh, he kind of shakes his head and says, This cage is not what is keeping us here. What is it? Tovaxa. Does she have some sort of hold on you? Not. Magically? Not again. Is it in the cage? He shakes his head. I do not know where it is. But it doesn't allow you to leave the cage? Well, I suppose we could leave the cage, but... We can't cannot leave the castle. Home. And we cannot return home. So if Tomexo is dead, then you could leave? She nods. He nods. Can you do that? You, you uh, have the power to? Or one of your people? To kill her? No, to leave. Oh. Uh. If, you, if you want to come kill her, then that's great, but... There, there was like two dozen people here, wasn't there, or something, or more? Uh, yeah, yeah, a couple dozen. Yeah. Can you get yourselves home? Uh, I think, perhaps, but it is impossible without defeating Tovaxa, and that is. He kind of looks around at the dejected sorry lot around him also impossible do any of you know where, what uh, is it if it is an object or just a enchantment that she has they all kind of give you blank looks we do not know how she does it Killing her will probably be the quickest way to solve it, perhaps? It's a shame perhaps. that we do not have Declan and his ring of Earth Elemental Control, because that might override whatever is happening here. <clears throat> yeah, but for how long? Mm. So she has power over you, but you don't it, you don't know if it is a thing or if it is her. We don't know. Right. So I guess we start with her and then find out if it's a thing afterwards. I suppose so. That would probably be be our best bet. Although, isn't she meant to have a lot of things? So. May take a while. We've been here a long time. 
If you truly think you can kill her, then I wish you luck in this life or in the next. Well, thank you. I can't hurt, I guess. We will figure out something. You don't have anything to help with that, do you? Anything you might have heard or seen? We, felt? we only see this room and Tovax's bedchamber. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway through that, when he said we only see this room, Makuta's like, oh. Was thinking like, oh, what did they do? And then seems to have got the answer to his question. <laughs> oh. Do you know where that is? At the top. Of course it is. Right, well, I suppose we should... Uh, do you know where she keeps her collection? She kind of like looks around at like the. There's only one way out of this place, right? That little spiral staircase over in point three. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and he just says, in her bedchamber, mostly, but at the tops of the towers are some other uh, locations and objects, I think all throughout the dam. She has her collection everywhere then. You know it's but mostly at the top. Okay then. Alrighty. So what are you guys gonna do? Head up the stairs. We've searched everywhere, correct? There wasn't? Yes. Okay. You have done much searching. Alright. Um, now that we're no longer invisible, we should definitely try to stealth your approach. <laughs> I can't. Am I still flying? For the I'm last an hour. Uh, then yeah, definitely. I am going um, to use a charge of the wand of magic detection mm -hmm. to try and detect any enchantments in this room or items that we might have missed, and uh, or. Mina's going to have Eli do that, while Mina is going to take her Lantern of Revealing and shine its light around the room for invisible things. Okay, uh, the Lantern of Revealing does not reveal anything. Okay. Uh, the magic, uh, Detect Magic, uh, picks up the sort of toll booth apparatus, uh, all of the elementals, um, and that's it, really. This whole place is pretty magical in and of itself, though. So there's a lot I of interference. I figured as much, but, uh, yeah, basically didn't want to wander into a rune on the stairs. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. That's a good point. We got that toll booth thing. Uh, I don't caught it. Hmm. Because I pushed the guy in and she made a save to catch it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, I don't know if it can be helpful that it like compels people to pay a price or something possibly it's more the proverbial stick to the proverbial carrot and stick interesting oh. so could be weaponized potentially does it immediately give up its secrets or do we have to attune to it 
for it to... No, this is going to be an, uh, an attuned item. Oh, okay. Right. Save it for later, I guess. True. Uh, sure. So there's one way out. And yeah. I guess we go up. Yeah, so the, the next floor above, um, you can see there's one way out of this uh, small room. Uh, it's a door that appears to be locked. Here's another door for you, Makood. Uh, Eli's like, ah, ah, ah. Fine. Fine. <laughs> you, 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 said, you said stealthy. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm a code breaker of chains and cages. And doors. Okay. I could. We want to be quiet. Eli seems keen to do it. I can always break them on the way out. <laughs> he rolled a one. <laughs> so that's a ten. I'm trying to unlock it. <laughs> Sorry. The door. Uh... You haven't got inspiration for doing a recap? Oh, I suppose he can use my inspiration. Or I could roll a real die. Why am I rolling the online dice roller? That's dumb. Whoa, whoa, whoa. For all of the <laughs> dice you own. 25. Okay, the door pops open. Um, it reveals... I actually have no idea what it reveals. Oh, yes. Uh, this very small room um, uh, seems to be uh, pretty much a basic cloak room. Uh, there's like a couple of pieces of uh, armor in here and like some clothes and cloaks. Uh, it seems to be like where the uh, like guard uh, dudes in the black iron armor uh, like you know where they get changed and stuff okay anything of note in here uh, besides like you know their stuff nothing that you can see um, you can make me a check if you'd like Uh, that is a thirteen. Uh, yeah, it doesn't doesn't seem like there's anything in here of interest. Can I ask, is that after we walk up the stairs, there is a room at the top of the stairs, or is yeah. it as soon as we walk in? Uh, no, this is this is a room at the top of the stairs. So, okay, is there any other way out? No. No. So you. Dead end. Yeah. So you guys. I'll oh, make that a bit bigger. Why did I choose? Pink, oh, dumbass. Let's uh, go for a nice turquoise. See, so, yeah, you guys came up these stairs and have gone through into this way too big into this room, which is the cloak room that I've just been describing. Um, okay. Do we hear any sounds or anything beyond, or? Um. No, it's pretty eerily quiet to be honest uh one of those like you can hear your footsteps echoing up the stairs and you're like terrified that you think every every single living thing within 100 miles can hear you kind of press on a little further then we've been told there is no no other way out of this room that we have been able to see. So yeah, so there's there's only the one way out. Oh, there's only the one way out. Yeah, okay. sorry. I thought you had, I thought you hadn't even described that. Uh, which was like, I was like, no. oh, right. Yeah, no. Um, there's there's there a door. There is another way out. Yeah, there's a door okay. here. Um. So, sorry. Is it locked as well? Uh, no, this one's open. Okay. There isn't anything of in. Uh, can I just have a look for anything of interest that the black guards might have had? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Give me a effects investigation check. Anything that's useful. That is a thirteen on the dice, minus two for eleven. Uh, no, nothing catches your eyes particularly okay. interesting. Yeah. Um, you like tip over a bed or something. Just be uh, a bad house guest. Yeah. Excellent. This opens out into one of the largest rooms in this whole place. Uh, 
and also one of the most awful uh, that you've seen. It seems um, Tovax's uh, penchant for collection is not limited to magic items and things. It is also uh, apparent that she has a uh, grim fascination with the eclectic uh, methods of torture uh, that have been used by various cultures. And so here you see in this room uh, Tovax's collection of uh, well-used uh, torture devices. Uh, everything from thumb screws to full body uh, benches that can tie you down to Iron Maidens to uh, all manner of wicked looking blades and uh, brutal implements designed to cause as much pain as possible. It is empty. Okay. Empty. okay. Apologies. Um, you see, yeah, there's, there's a door out to the west uh, and two doors in the south. Um, it seems like a lot of this stuff is, you know, not ornamental. Uh, you're not seeing like a lot of dust everywhere and, you know they don't they look like they're used is there anything especially fancy like something that could be used to torture a demon like magical covered in runes um, or... this seems more like the sort of old school like non-magical Thing. Okay. You know, she's like collecting vinyl, the vinyl records of, <laughs> of torture. torture. Yeah, where it's like, sure. you know, sure there's more convenient and potentially effective ways, but they just don't have the, quite have the same. Shanna Swaykor. Mm, exactly. Yeah, there's just something about like physically turning the screw into somebody's thumb. You do see one of those things that's like kind of a hammer that ends in like a hand that's holding a spike. You know the things I mean? They've got a name. Mm -hmm. It looks rad. So there's one of those. <laughs> but it's like a demon-y hand. That's cool. Bakuda's very tempted to smash this place up, but also we're meant to be quiet, so... <laughs> just just imagining him, like we're sneaking along and there's this very sort of quiet of like bending metal and like Mina looks back and he's just like breaking something this is horrible like... just like bending angles into torture implements and stuff <laughs> trying to be quiet I would like to use an action to attempt divine intervention you may do that okay it's probably not gonna work that is how but she's gonna to she's gonna pray for all of the metal to rust, all of the wood to get termites, all of the leather to rot, like everything in this room just to turn mm. to shit. Uh, it's not gonna work. That's like a fifty-two. <laughs> but she wanted it gone. Yeah, you she kind of beg for shit. intervention, uh, but you are left uh, in silence, echoing around. This horrible, horrible room. It would be a very silly thing to ask for, but still. I would have given you all the inspirations. Because mm. it was good. Cool. <clears throat> so. Which room? Do you want to go straight across? Do we hear Do anything want? out of either one of those rooms, passageways? Uh, again. It's deadly silent on this floor for now. Okay. Floaty Balloon McCood will float his way. Um, I don't know. To the nearest door. Why not? The one, the southern one. Sure. Unless someone else wants to do something else. No, that's good. Yeah. That's right, dude. Yeah, so unfortunately, uh, this one opens into what appears to be something like uh, a crossroads. 
but actually uh, you see you're in uh, a very large room um, this one uh, is outfitted with like lavish uh, bedding uh, and oh there's another room there don't tell anyone uh, yeah, this one's outfitted with like lavish bedding, beautiful decorations. Like, um, there's like these gorgeous frescoes of like uh, the ocean and stuff that look very non hellish. And you're like, oh, this room's really nice. And then you look up um, and you see that um, there is uh, a myriad of petrified uh, sea life attached to the ceiling, uh, creating a roiling mass of frozen frozen flesh, octopuses, fish, crustaceans, whales, uh, like starfish, just this huge kind of um, like abstract painting where they've all been stuck together and fitted together and uh, creating this like terrifying, uneven, bumpy ceiling, uh, all made of various sea life. Oh, that's lovely. That's almost that's enough to put you off your lizard on this stick. Ooh. But not quite enough. Not quite enough. I will not let it take this place take that from me. If Madar uses the trident of fish command, do any of them move? <laughs> <laughs> Kill me. Heed me, ceiling. Come to my beck and call. Um, uh, is there anything in this room that yeah, looks a, like it might be no 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 to like ass, uh, take no uh, nothing that looks like it might be trapping a bunch of water genasi downstairs no there's a Gideon's Bible in the um, <laughs> who went with that that is my collection okay. uh, but no, continue to the room to the east then yeah sure uh, the spatial awareness that's like the edge yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so this kind of appears to be uh, uh, just a small addendum uh, to uh, the guest room, um, which is like uh, you know a bathing chamber uh, and cloak room, uh, kind of similar to what you saw in uh, one twelve, but like much nicer, much fancier. Everything's like you know, it's it's designed to to be the functional room to any guests uh, and you can see there's a door to the south uh, that again appears locked uh hearing nothing at the door nothing at the door eli will try to pick the lock uh, that's only a 13. no he is unable to pick the lock he doesn't lose uh, the lock picks or anything but he is unable to get through it if a retroactive guidance was there and it was a 16, would that have done it? No, I'm afraid not. Okay, okay. Well, he shrugs at Makud. <laughs> My turn. He... Why don't we give the rest of this place a once over and if we need to find out what's behind that door, then we can do it. I'd rather not call the entire tower down on us. For what's essentially another closet. Probably a good idea. Oh. I just say that like to... his hand is against the wooden door and there's just this creaking noise. <laughs> He's about to push through it. Uh, Mina is going to like do a quick flash from the lantern of revealing to see if it reveals anything in this room and in the sea life room. Nope. Okay. Nothing revealed. Uh, Just which, we continue on to yeah, the west. Then? Which way? Uh, down like this path? I think so. Or up right Yeah. Now? Okay. Uh, Theoretically, they might connect, but. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. So you, you find yourselves in like a long corridor. We're in 110, so we'll go from 110. Yeah, so you guys are like coming through here. So you're in this like long corridor, uh, locked door to the south here. What? There's a locked door here. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Do I want to go? You can see the yeah. corridor continues on for a long way. 
Mina is going to cast Guidance, but he's not going to need it, because that was a natural 20 for 30, all up with her Guidance. Okay, yeah. Uh, so this, like, kind of short corridor ends in uh, what appears to be... Locked uh, up so hard, we lost the DM. Oh. No, don't look at me! And then the demon swoops in. No! Oh, no! I murder it with my demon murdering sword? <laughs> I, I thought that was the end of the sentence there. Yeah, I, I activate, activate my demon, demon murdering. Ha! You've played right into my strategy. Um, yeah, uh, you uh, appear uh, in a uh, foyer of sorts, um, what appears to be the front door uh, to to Vax's uh, horrible uh, dam. It's uh, pretty clear that like this is where guests are normally greeted. Um, there's like this really big impressive stairway in the center of the room um, leading up to the next floor. Uh, and it's all like marble uh, and there's these pillars uh, holding up you know, the ceiling and the balcony above you um, though the pillars like on closer inspection uh, appear to be like thousands of screaming people being slowly crushed you know but rendered in marble it's tasteful Yeah, this this floor appears completely deserted so far. Perhaps we should continue exploring before we knock on the front door. Or head up the stairs in the foyer, yeah. Keep going to the north, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, you uh, can head into this, like, northern chamber, uh, and it's another, uh, like, large kind of sweeping open chamber. Um, this one, uh, you can see, uh, immediately, like, as soon as you open the door, before you opened it, it was silent, and then as soon as you open it, there's, like, this cacophony of sound, uh, you found what appears to be the kitchen, um, like, uh, these kind of large, like, shiny metal, um, counters everywhere, uh, a huge, uh, like, hearth and fire, uh, stoves and ovens. Um, and what appears to be like a dozen um, like humanoid pigs all in um, like chef's outfits like running around frantically um, like cutting bits off of themselves and throwing them uh, into ovens and uh, things where they begin to fry uh, and you watch as like their flesh magically grows back before they you know, cut more bits off themselves to cook Yeah. Really shut the door. <laughs> so with the sound being blocked by like something like the, the door being was blocking the sound, or was it just like they didn't start making the sound until we opened? The no, door? the the door's blocking the sound. A big door then. Yeah, uh -huh. and a little magical. Okay. She doesn't want to have to hear that, you know. Sure. Did they get any sense that they noticed us, or were they yeah. too busy uh, hurting themselves? We'll say they were much too busy. Okay. Shut the door and go <laughs> keep going. <laughs> okay, so I assume you kind of come around and head into this north door here. 
Uh, you enter and see all these fucking pigs, right? No, there's like no. a big door to the south there at the end. end of oh, the this hallway. door. So you go yeah. in and, and no. you're in. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I thought it was pretty cute. Mm -mm. Did you get it? Mm -mm. Cute. Uh, yeah, mm -mm. this corridor. Me uh, <laughs> this corridor uh, seems to be a dead end, though there is um, an unlocked door uh, that leads into another chamber. Um, what appears to, uh, again, like listening, you can't hear much uh, until the door is opened. Is that something you'd like to do in this instance? Uh, it seems to be we... the pattern. And knowing, oh, well, yeah, but knowing now that, like, you know, it could be shielding something, could be, like, creak it open and peek, rather than just opening it. Oh, give me, being all give like, me a hey. stealth, give me a stealth check. You want that from Eli or Mina? Whoever's opening uh, the door. Uh, Eli's been our, our dude. Mm-hmm. That's something we can say. Oh, Jesus, I dropped the dice. That's a, that is an 18. Yeah, uh, he's able to uh, creak it open uh, very quietly. Um, and uh, peering inside, uh, you see yet another room that makes your stomach churn. Um, this is another of Tovax's collections, uh, her menagerie. Uh, all manner of strange creatures kept in uh, far too small cages. Uh, you're seeing displacer beasts, uh, vokers, those like warg-like warg -like things that uh, the uh, armored uh, individuals were riding on. Um, you see like strange otherworldly uh, birds and ghosts and all manner of uh, monstrosities kept in uh, cages and tanks in here uh, fed uh, what appears to be raw pork almost exclusively and many of them don't look in super great condition and it's just like a maze of cages in here Eli will tell the others what he's seen go back and continue on or do we want to I guess he mentions that there is a door on the other side or can you not see mm -hmm. that I'm assuming he did uh, yeah yeah he would well, it was mentioned as a page of ca cages there was a potential for that yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> are they already making a wreck well the doors muffle all sound so mm. we go ahead and close the door yeah Okay. Uh, I think we should find out what else is here. Yeah. I agree. We don't want to have uh, missed out on what will free the Genesi or the Anvil just because you know, we missed the room. They said the collection was everywhere, so we have to look everywhere. Mm hmm. Yeah. Sure thing. Uh, so, as you close the door behind you, uh, yeah, you get the sense that like all sound has been cut off from the other side, um, and uh, you begin like making your way through the the cages, uh, seeing like just these dejected, miserable animals, all most of them like either way overfed and like struggling to move or some of them are really skinny and just have this rotten meat piling up in their cage because it doesn't fit in their diet but it's all they're being given um, it's it's a, a really rough time walking past these creatures um, many of which like snarl and kind of ram their cages near you um, like 
clearly sort of those animals that have been treated cruelly enough to where they'll never be able to sort of deal with people again. Um, uh, you come to uh, what is uh, another uh, locked door. I certainly revealed the whole thing there. Um, on the other side. Eli will try to unlock it. Uh, 21. Uh, 21, yeah. Uh, he pops it open, no problem. I would uh, say Makuda's like tempted to just put these creatures out of their misery, but it would take a long time, I would imagine. Yeah, there's hundreds. It is very sad. Yeah. Uh, this appears to be another storeroom holding uh, mostly uh, disused supplies for the animals, like brushes and cleaning stuff and uh, more kind of empty cages in case uh, Tovaxa gets a new one for her collection. Um, give me an investigation check in here, please. Yeah, I was gonna say it was locked, so... Uh, Eli was a... 18? Nina was a 12. Anyone else? Uh, for what, sorry? Investigation. Investigation. I got 17. I rolled a 19 minus 2. No. Uh, 15 for uh, Bryn and non natural 20 for uh, Madar. I'll say because the NPCs are the only ones who rolled higher than Makood. Makood. Yay! Uh, you, uh, are like, everyone's rummaging through stuff, and you, like, you see this sort of sack of rice, and you're like, oh, that's rice. And you sort of, like, reach down and, like, nibble on some of the dry rice, and you're like, oh, that's not very nice rice. And then you see just behind it, there's, like, a little um, sparkle of silver, and you reach down, and you pick up uh, what appears to be a little silver statue of a raven uh like uh how big you know like a trophy or like um, necklace size or something a couple or inches a couple inches okay like a little figurine um so i imagine it has like i don't know his nose stuck in a bag of rice or something and then Either smells kind of the metallicness or like tastes it, I guess, <laughs> and and like pour, pours mm -hmm. it out. Uh, Sticks his hand in, and the beak gets under his fingernails. And he goes, "Ow, oh, stupid rice! Oh, you're not rice. <laughs> <laughs> stupid sharp rice. <laughs> um, oh, rice doesn't have a beak." When did Nina, when did Rice get the beak? <laughs> I don't know why the food is going Russian all of a sudden. I don't know either. <laughs> FBI, open up. <laughs> it's just, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. It's something to do with hell has changed him. Um, this is no, uh, this is no good for the animals. And he like pulls, uh, or has the statue at already. Like on his palm or something. Yeah. Why would someone keep this in the food? He's sort of saying to the group. Hmm. Does it look magical? Yes. It looks magical, Makud. Perhaps someone was hiding it from Tavaksa. Yeah, I didn't want her to add it to her collection. Do I get any sense of it, or is it an attunement daily? Um, I believe. Uh, it's very hard. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, doesn't require attunement. Um, but you need to give it a command word. Do I innately know the command word, or am I going to be guessing for a long time? You can, you can come up with a command word. I 
first thing he'd probably say is something to do with rice, so... Uh, just the command word will be rice. Rice. So you say rice, and suddenly standing in your palm is not the statue of a silver raven, but a full-size silver raven. Uh, Makut kind of, like, eyes it. Rice? You are not the <laughs> statue anymore. <laughs> rice? Does it go back to the way it was when he says rice again? Uh, wait. Um... No. Okay. It cocks its head. Like, I imagine Maku cocks it to the left, Nick cocks it to the left as well, mirroring his actions. And it. Uh, you have a, a new friend, Maku. Can we trust it? You weren't so sure about the last friend we found. Uh, the bookish guy. Don't, uh, do I get any sort of demonic vibes from the raven? Make an arcana check. Nina's good at those. Oh. She knows what this is. 18? I'm yeah. guessing? Yeah. Um, you've, you've probably seen similar things before. Uh, it's just like a little kind of portable animal friend. It's a figurine of wondrous power. Uh, I have seen uh, shells with this. And, um, the little boat will deliver messages for you. Hmm. Well, that'll be good when we're not here, I guess. Mm, unless you want to send a message to the Vox, <laughs> let her know we are coming for her. Rise! Nice. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, and then... No, no, know, no, I was... I, I was... Gonna kill you, the Vox, uh... <laughs> um... Come out to play! <laughs> <laughs> Can I don't even know where Brent got those bottles. <laughs> he like kind of strokes it a little. Can I get hurt? Can I get hurt? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Not really. No. No. Okay. I just didn't want it to get hit by like an arrow fireball. It's ba it's basically like the the familiar. If it if it dies, it will just revert back to its figurine. Okay. Yes. Uh, fireball. <laughs> Everyone looks at Bryn. Right, well, welcome to the club, Royce. Royce. <laughs> that's canon. It's that's how it sounds. <laughs> it sounds <laughs> like Royce. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? You what deliver messages. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Why? Why is my existence pain? <laughs> Why was I programmed to feel pain? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but that is what you find in this small cloakroom. There's a locked door to the south. Eli will unlock it. You can certainly try. Who is right? I mean, his that. thing is a plus. His thing is a plus nine. So, and then Mina's casting oh, guidance. Either. No wonder Mina's a fan. <laughs> yeah, his, his side of hand. Uh, um, nineteen. I think Jay was talking about his penis, not his hand. <laughs> 19. Uh, yeah, the door pops yeah, open. Yeah, the doors with his penis. Uh, I'll give it, I didn't give him enough credit with his prehensile penis. Yeah, he's he's R2-D2. <laughs> oh, God. 
uh, yeah, uh, you see uh, another set of stairs leading up a tower. We can all agree we don't want to go anywhere near the pig room, right? Big room, big room. I mean, we room. probably have seen that there is another way out, and there was the way out that we skipped. We don't have to go back. But yeah, if this is going to lead us. No. No more pigs. Might not notice this. I think I would prefer this entrance over the foyer, though, because uh, this was behind locked doors, so it might not be guarded upstairs. Like, if they're gonna get to the door, they deserve to be here, kind of thing? I think so, yes. You shouldn't take the door that is reserved, or the way path that is reserved for visitors, because people might be waiting to receive them. They might be taking our intentions? No, no, it was more, there will be people. <laughs> it is odd that there was no one in the foyer to begin with. <coughs> I do not wish to press our luck. So we don't go back? No, I think we just go up these stairs. I don't think the pig room will be worth anything. And unless you all want to go back to the, the room that Eli was unable to open. Close a few doors so that there's a couple of layers of sound buffering for Maku to bust down a door. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, it, it's just through it, that door. Inspiration. Yeah, it, it, it's that uh, the TikTok meme that's all like, oh, 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 oh. that's like like the African chanting as like Macoon's running. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it, what that is, but it's all like, bing <laughs> <laughs> oh, You know what I'm talking yeah. about, though, right? Yeah. You know it. Okay, I don't know what no. it's from. I don't know what it's from, but I hear it all the time. <laughs> you hear it all the time. And, and TikTok, little, little TikTok compilation things. There's sure, always like sure. someone like doing like a, a running, and it's all like, mama, mama, mama. <laughs> it's like someone panting heavily and chanting at the same time <laughs> to like drums and techno music. Um, I'm glad we're sensitive to other cultures. <sighs> no, I'm not trying to be like that, but that's what the, the it's a meme. Jade, the, TikTok meme. the traditional drums and techno music. Shut up. What does Makud find behind the door? Uh. <laughs> so I have gone back. I was I was just going to describe just the lonely door with Makud's handprint, just like in the wood. <laughs> um, I will go back. Makud goes back. Uh. You see, uh. Crash bang. <clears throat> crash bang. Uh. Ah. Uh, what the hell? <clears throat> okay. Uh, weird, I guess. Um, you see uh, another uh, set of stairs uh, leading up, uh, but apparently no door out on this floor. So behind that bathroom there is a set of stairs going up. Wait, what? That's a weird set of stairs. Uh, he went to go bust down the door by 113. Yeah. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that fucking... was the joke of him, like, going. Oh, uh, <laughs> I thought. Like, dashing across the fortress right. to get back to the door. Yeah. He put oh, his hand fuck, in. you know. Um, <sighs> what do you find? Probably something sick. Um. Right, uh, so after the cloakroom, uh, you find another set of stairs leading up. It's just another tower stair. Well, it's it's continuing like this. You can. This is more like a way to access the tower stairs. It's not like, and this room has stairs. It's like, you're joining the stairs halfway up, kind of thing. If that makes sense. Okay. Um, would you so... like to go up or down those stairs? 
we're joining the stairs. I'm joining the stairs that they're waiting by, but halfway up them. Is that what you? So okay, oh, so. Oh, you, oh, I'm joining the stairs halfway up. Yeah. So like, if side. if this is the ta no, if this is the tower, right, and the stairs go uh -huh. like this. Yeah. Like. The basement is like this. Floor two sure. is this. So you're like, you're coming in here. Right, so when I'm saying like you're joining them, Basically, it's like, it's not like this is a right. room, it's just like the stairs continue. Sure, but that's basically exactly the same as the other side. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's what, I, yeah, that's what I was getting at. Sorry for the confusion. No, no, it's okay. Uh, so then the cook goes back. <laughs> it, it's, the same as, it's, it's the same as this. Ah. With this there. Big stairs, big stairs. I think we, uh... I, I oh, keep hearing a whisper. I'm not sure if you hear a whisper. Something about... Someone keeps chanting about pig stairs. What? Yeah, I thought, I thought I heard that too. Hmm, that's a shame. It's a shame that uh, <laughs> the pig would probably be too difficult to get put by. Which stairs are you going for? I mean, we could just push them all in an oven and it would be fine. Yeah, they can't die, so they'd just be perpetually being burned and regenerated. It'll, it'll be fine. <laughs> put them all in a pot and put the lid on. I don't know. They don't, they don't look too tough. Yeah, it's up to you guys. <laughs> I don't... I, I'm curious what's behind that room, uh, but, and Makud is not afraid of the pigs at all, uh, but... We I mean, can if go you want to go, we can it's go. Fine. It's fine. No, we can go to the pig room, I don't care. Okay, we can always come fine. down the... If, if we fi the other thing is, if we go up a floor and then go over to that corner, you can come down and behind the pig room and don't have to go in the pig room again. But then you don't have to go in the pig room again. Yeah, that's the idea. <laughs> These two seem very resistant to the pig room for some reason. I mean, can we like <laughs> can Cowards. we do the pig room without the description? <laughs> it is a blank white room, and you move through it. There's a blank no who is blanking, and he runs over and blanks, and then throws his throws blank, blank in blank. blank. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, okay, let's go through the no. pig room. No, I no, no. We'll go, we'll go upstairs and you can come back down the stairs on the other side if you want. That's okay. very clever of you. I like that much better. Let's do I'll that. I'll give you one inspiration. You head up the stairs and find a room full of pigs. <laughs> no! Uh, I have one jade inspiration. I yes, will. I have you can have a rob inspiration too. Um. I'm going to uh, end the session there because the future pig stuff is pretty high energy and I'm um, and I've got much energy.